Welcome back. On the previous video, on the second video, I promise you to discuss on the third part uh, a more challenging problem. So this is one of them. This taken from Stuart number 87 on the section 5.5. Okay. You may want to try before you continue to see the video. Actually, on the book itself, there is a hint. So the hint is to use the substitution u equals pi minus x. Okay. And I would suggest you to try that substitution first and see what you come up you and see what you come up with okay so please pause the video right now and then you can come back later if you are stuck or if you want to have more idea okay so please stop i mean please pause the video okay we'll come back so from this u, if we solve for x, we have x equals pi minus u. There are some few things that we can observe that sine of x, which is sine of pi minus u, so here we need to use the fact about trigonometric trigonometry that sine pi minus u is nothing but sine u itself and how about the cosine what is cosine pi minus u equals so pi minus u roughly in the second quadrant and on that quadrant the cosine is negative so this is equal to minus cosine u okay and also we have that dx so from here we have dx equals minus the u okay so let's change this integral in terms of u integral so again just to make us remember, this 0 and pi are the limit for the x variable. So from x equals 0 to x equals pi. So we have x. Remember that x is pi minus u. So that x, let me circle, that x is pi minus u. that sine x is sine u and this cosine x is minus cosine u so cosine squared x is just cosine squared u so let's use this color so this 1 plus cosine squared x is the same as 1 plus cosine squared u. And then dx is minus du. So that's dx. That dx is minus du. So minus du. Okay. Now we want to change the limit of integration. When x equals 0, plug in x equals 0 here, we have u equals pi. So, u equals pi. And when x equals pi, plug in x equals pi here, u is 0. So, the integral is from pi to 0. But remember, one of the property of integral is 
we can switch the limit of integration if we minus the integral. So if we minus the minus, we have positive integral from 0 to pi. Okay. Notice that the u, the u variable here is a dummy variable. You can change this u variable by y, x, z, f. Um, maybe f is reserved for function. A, B, C, D, whatever. Whatever you like. In particular, we can use the x variable. So integral from 0 to pi. Pi minus x sine x over 1 plus cosine squared x dx. Well, it seems you don't achieve anything by substituting this u equals pi minus x. We have another integral, which even seems more complicated than the original one. Okay, But here is... The big leap, okay, so this integral is equal to that integral. Let's call this integral as i, okay? So if this is i, then this guy is also i. So twice of i is integral from 0 to pi of this x sine x. plus 1 plus cosine squared x. Since the limit of the integration are the same, so we can combine the integral as the integral of this expression plus that expression. Pi minus x sine x over 1 plus cosine squared x dx. Okay. So 2i is equal to integral from 0 to pi. Notice that the denominators are equal. So we just need to add the numerator. x sine x plus pi minus x sine x over 1 plus cosine squared x dx. Now, what do we get if we simplify the numerator? If we simplify the numerator, we have, so that's x sine x, and we have minus x sine x. So on the top, we have pi sine x, and on the bottom, we have 1 plus cosine squared x dx. Now, this one is easier because we can use the usual substitution technique. So if we let v equal cosine x, or maybe just the whole thing, 1 plus cosine, mm, hold on. Okay, v is just cosine x. Okay, then dv is minus sine x dx. And we can see sine x dx on the top here. Okay, so this integral is integral from x equal 0 to x equal pi of pi. On the bottom we have 1 plus v squared and on the top the sine x dx can be replaced by minus dv. So minus dv. Okay. So now we just need to change the limit of integration when x equals 0 Plug in here, we have 
v equals 1. So from 1, when x equals pi, cosine of pi is minus 1. 2 minus 1. And the, the pi is constant. So now, remember that the antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus v squared is tangent inverse. So we have minus pi tangent inverse of v and then we evaluate at minus 1 and at 1. So we have minus pi arctangent of minus 1 is minus pi over 4 and arctangent of 1 is also pi over 4. So then we have, so if we add this two, we have minus pi over 2 times minus pi, so we have pi squared over 2. So that's the answer. Hold on. This is not our final answer because what we computed here is twice of the integral that we are looking for. So let me copy again. Twice of i is pi squared over 2. Therefore, the integral that we are looking for, which is i itself, is pi squared over 4. So this is our final answer. Okay, let's look at the next challenging problem. And so that 2011 is the power for the sine x function. So it seems this problem is impossible to solve. And also, this 2011 is somehow suspicious. Okay? So instead of doing that, let's try to do a more general problem, which is to compute the integral from of sine to the n, let's use another letter, m x over sine to the m of x plus cosine to the power of m x dx. Okay, and from the previous problem, which was the integral from 0 to pi, we use the substitution u equals pi minus x. So probably, in this case, we can do the same. So since the upper limit is pi over 2, then we can try to use substitution pi over 2 minus x. Okay. Now, if, if you want to give it a try, please pause the, the video and use this substitution and use the previous idea when we solve uh, the previous integral. Okay. So, the basic idea use this substitution and somehow we use the method that we used earlier on the previous integral. Okay, if you want to give it a try, that will be very good. And if you are stuck, you can come back again later to this video. Okay, please pause the video. Okay, we'll come back. From this substitution, if we solve it for x, we have x equals pi over 2 minus u. Now, the same idea like before, we have sine x equals sine pi over 2 minus u. And remember, using trigonometric identity, it is equal to cosine of u. Similarly, cosine of x is cosine pi over 2 minus u, which is nothing but sine u. So then this integral is equal 
from x equals 0 to x equals pi over 2. Now, sine x is equal to cosine u. So now on the top, we have cosine to the m of u. And on the bottom, we also have cosine m to the u. And since cosine of x is sine u, we have sine to the m u. How about the x? So from here, the x is minus the u. So we put minus and plug in the u there. Okay. But now the limit integration is still in terms of x. So we want to change the limit integration for the u variable. When x is 0 here, so when x is 0, the u is pi over 2. And when x is pi over 2, the u is 0. So now the integral is from pi over 2 to 0. But we have this minus sign. So then we can switch the limit of integration and make it make the sign plus. So from 0 to pi over 2. And now, the same as what we did before, this u variable is nothing special. We can use any other letter. In particular, we can use the x variable. So x, 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 x. And let's call this integral as i. And similar as we did before, we consider twice of i. Okay, so what is twice of i? Will be integral from 0 to pi. Now, look at, so twice of y will be this integral plus that integral. But notice here that the denominators are already the same. So when we add that two functions, we just need to add the numerator. Okay? So add the numerator to get sine to the mx plus cosine to the mx. The denominator, we keep the denominator. But now notice that the top and the bottom are equal. So this expression can be simplified into 1. So we have integral from 0 to pi of 1 dx. So integral of 1 is x, and then we evaluate at pi and at 0. So the result is, I mean, this is, I'm sorry, this should be pi over 2, and also here pi over 2. So if we evaluate at pi over 2 and 0, we get pi over 2. So that is twice of i, but we are looking for i itself. So let me put it here. Twice of i is pi over 2. Therefore, i itself is equal to pi over 4. And this is true for any m. In particular, it is also true for m equals 2011. So, so for m equals 2011, we have this integral. Therefore, that integral is equal to pi over 4 as well. Okay, so that's all integration by substitution method. See you later on another topic. Bye.